Hey, I am Manuel Booz. Thank you again for watching the Real Deal Cooking Channel. So far, we did the savory nougat, the frozen nougat, the traditional nougat. Today, we're gonna make a fancy one. Mocha walnut nougat. Fair enough. In this nougat world, only one can be served as a dessert. The frozen nougat, which by the way, would be the easiest and the perfect you log. Push de Noël for Christmas. The traditional nougat and the one we are going to make today will fit your expectations as a gift or the one-of-a-kind treat, especially when you are watching your favorite Christmas movie. First, room temperature egg whites. Next, I'm going to make a paste with one of the egg whites that I saved. So you've got three in a mixing bowl plus one and I am going to mix it with Nescafe and then I'm going to add this mixture into the meringue. Like we did for the nougat de Montélimar, we're gonna cook two sugar and you wanna cook them separately, starting with the sugar and then as soon as it reaches 220 Fahrenheit, 120 Celsius, you wanna turn on your honey on full blast and cook your honey to 266 Fahrenheit, 130 degrees Celsius. And then you wanna pour your honey on thin stream. And then right after, your sugar cooked at 145 Celsius, 293 Fahrenheit. And then you wanna continue on medium speed. And I'm going to switch the whisk for the paddle attachment. Another thing in a nougat confectionery, the use of papier azim, wafer paper. Not to be confused with the rice paper wrappers used in Asian cooking for summer rolls. So it's edible, printable, though if you do not want to use them, and that's perfectly fine, you're gonna use instead a mixture of 50% powdered sugar and 50% uh, cornstarch or potato starch. Mix together and sift it over the baking tray. It works perfectly. Voila! Now you gotta go fast. Immediately transfer nougat in the prepared pan. Spread nougat evenly. Top with a sheet of wafer paper, glossy side up, and smooth out with your rolling pan. Next, you want to leave your nougat alone to cool down. It's gonna take three hours. No rush and see what happens. So you can leave the log as is, or you can finish it with a nice coating of tempered milk chocolate. So my method to temper the milk chocolate is the same as the one I used for the dark chocolate, except that the temperature are slightly different. So you wanna melt your milk chocolate to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. As soon as it is melted, I am going to chill it and the temperature is gonna drop actually pretty fast. And then as soon as it sets on the edges, you want to scrape the edges and mix it up. So as soon as your chocolate begins to thicken, and then you wanna rewarm it to 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, 84 to 86 Fahrenheit. So if the temperature goes over 31, you toast it, you have to redo it again. <laughs> what a waste of time. Baking is an accurate science. You can't improvise. Well, we are going to glaze this marvelous mocha walnut nougat. Before you slice out this bad boy, make sure that it is at room temperature. Otherwise, you're gonna need a chainsaw. <laughs> to get the full recipe, well, go to brunoskitchen.net. For now, please subscribe. It's completely free. And like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Ciao, ciao. Wow. Mm. The texture is so perfect. I mean, faut tout arrêter. Faut tout arrêter. C'est trop bon. C'est trop bon. It's, it's too good. That's it. <laughs> this is the badass new year. Oh.